What's up guys, this is Kefis, I am Legally Blind, and today we're talking about going to the gun range. Whenever people discover that I, a person who is visually impaired, has handled a gun, been to the gun range, and even owns a gun, I will usually get one of two reactions. Now, in my experience, I have found that the people who are more comfortable with guns and have been around guns a lot usually aren't that surprised when they find out. But people who have not been around guns very much and don't have a lot of experience with them are often a lot more surprised to find out that I've handled guns. This reaction is usually the reflection of two things. The first is the individual's understanding of the extent of my visual limitations, and the second is the level of knowledge a person has about gun safety. In other words, it is reasonable for a relatively uninformed person to be somewhat put off by the idea of a visually impaired person wanting to or even being allowed to own a gun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. However, there is nothing about my visual limitations that prevents me from properly observing gun safety etiquette. Quite frankly, I'm more comfortable handling a gun than I am crossing a busy intersection. That still terrifies me a little bit. I don't know how people who are completely blind actually do it. Props to you guys. Now, in spite of everything that I've said, I'm sure there are still some people out there who are not okay with the idea of me or any other visually impaired person operating a gun. And for those of you who maybe feel that way, I would just like to introduce you to a really swell guy named Bennett Foddy. He created a game called Getting Over It. Now, the first time I ever actually shot a gun was last year. I was 30 years old. I didn't actually grow up around guns. They weren't allowed in the house. I mean, I had slingshots and I used to go out with my cousin and we'd shoot those around. Let me have that. Go to your room. I say, go do whatever you want. And then I did get a BB gun when I was a teenager, and that was really cool. My stepdad and I used to go out and shoot it all the time. Man, that BB gun was so powerful. We had an old wooden outhouse in our backyard, and we taped a paper target up to it. I pumped that BB gun up as much as I could and shot at the target, and that BB went through the front end of the outhouse and all the way through the back end. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. And from that experience, I realized that I really enjoyed shooting. And to be honest, I did a lot better than you might think. I mean, I could see well enough to know where the target was. I couldn't see the bullseye, and I didn't always hit the bullseye, but I usually would actually hit the target. So I knew that guns were not allowed in my family's house, but I decided that as soon as I moved out on my own, I was going to get a gun. And sure enough, Fast forward about 10 years later, and that's exactly what I did. I bought a shotgun. I mean, who needs perfect aiming when you have a shotgun, am I right? I was starting to think that I was never going to shoot that gun. But then a few years later, I fell in love with this amazing, beautiful woman who just so happened to be a part of a gun-owning family. Yep, I basically married Annie Oakley. My wife and both her parents are gun owners. And when they found out that I had never shot a gun and really wanted to, they didn't waste any time getting me out to the gun range. The first time I ever shot a gun was at an outdoor gun range. I was extremely excited but also very nervous. I mean, these are guns we're talking about here. But I married into an amazing family. They were all very supportive and they made me feel really comfortable in that environment. They gave me everything that I needed. Protective glasses for my eyes, and protective earmuffs because, if you didn't know, guns are actually very loud. They're not like what they are in movies. And when you have extremely sensitive hearing like mine that you depend on a lot, you do not want to be around a bunch of guns going off without those earmuffs. And even with earmuffs, for me, it was still extremely loud. But with my family there watching over me, teaching me everything I needed to know about using a gun safely, I fired my first shot. Now our targets were about 30 yards away and we were using the smaller targets, but I was still able to see where it was. So I knew where to aim my gun. I was safely shooting at the target and I even hit it more often than I thought I would. But it was a challenge getting the precise aiming down because it was very hard for me to see the sights on the gun that I was using. 
So I ain't exactly Arthur Morgan. I mean, I give a whole new meaning to the term Deadeye. I even got a chance to shoot a long-range rifle. It had a scope, so I was able to see where the target was. And believe it or not, I actually hit the target. All in all, my first time shooting was a pretty amazing experience, and I could not wait to do it again. A few months later, my father-in-law and I went out and I finally got to shoot my shotgun. And as expected, it was a whole lot easier than shooting a handgun or a rifle. But after we got married, my wife and I went back to the gun range with our handguns. This time, we went to an indoor gun range, and we used bigger targets. Of course, being indoors made it a lot easier to see the target because of the lighting, and having a bigger target helped as well. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. My wife is a much better shot than I am. She's pretty amazing. But I did so much better this time. I mean, I was able to hit the target pretty easily. In fact, if I had been going for my CCW, I would have passed. So yeah, I'm a legally blind guy that can shoot a gun. It's pretty amazing what you can accomplish when you're surrounded by people that care enough about you to give you a chance at something. And that is just a small glimpse in the life of the legally blind. If you enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. You can also subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at TheCafes to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, this is Kefis, until next time.